Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at the concept of alignment. Uh, this one is used a lot. You know, when you start to build um, whatever uh, 3D model that you're working on, there are going to be times when you need two objects or three or multiple to line up together in one uh, one manner or another. And so the alignment tool is really going to help you in that area. So um, I'm going to start off with these three objects that we had sitting here from last time. And let's just say, for example, that I wanted to get them, um, let's just say that I wanted all of them to line up in a row. Um, the one thing I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do in order to um, put them into my uh, scope of alignment is that I've got to select them all. So there are two ways to select objects. One is I could just draw a rectangle around them and all three have been selected. And in fact, um, I don't even have to drag it around them. I just have to Go, I just have to touch them with my rectangle at some point. So just by touching them, they're all three now in my selection. And notice what happens too is that when you select multiple objects, uh, they end up having those same properties that a single object has. So I can rotate them all at the same time. I can change their shape and size. I can raise them up or down. I can do everything that I would do with a single object. I can now do with multiple objects. Okay, so I'm going to select these three, and I'm um, going to align all of them together. And the way I do that is, up on the top right-hand side here, you'll notice the Align uh, button. And by the way, that Align button isn't available if I'm only selecting a single object, because right now there's nothing to align it to. I actually have to select at least two objects. Now the Align tool becomes available. And notice also that there's, just for your own uh, tip, there's a, the letter L right next to the word align there. And that just means you could use the shortcut key L in order to uh, bring up the alignment tool. All right, so here it is. I'm going to click on align. And it's going to bring up these alignment options here. So I can choose to line up all the objects by the centers by the centers this way, by the corners, lots of different ways to align them. And what's really great about Tinkercad is it gives you this preview of what that alignment is going to do if you click on, if you actually click on that button. So right now I want to align them this way, back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oops, sorry, I deselected there. I'm going to pick this button here, or this, this dot here, because I want to align them up according to their centers. And that gives me alignment of all three objects. Now let's say that I wanted to line them up along this back row here. I would then just click this one. And now the objects are aligned by their back edges. Okay, so just like that, very easily, I can take any object and align it. Oops, I just aligned them all to the center. So if I don't want to align them to the center like that, I have to undo, notice this button up here, I have to undo what I just did and it'll bring them back. Okay, the undo button is going to be a, a, a good friend of yours. I use it all the time when I make a mistake or go a little too far with something that I didn't intend to. Um, the last thing I want to cover with alignment is uh, when you're selecting objects, let's just say, for example, that this particular object um, was something that I wasn't concerned about its alignment. In fact, I didn't want to align it, but I needed to align these two. So I said earlier that there are two ways to select objects. One was by putting a rectangle around them. Well, this doesn't help me if I don't want that middle object. If I only want my left object and my right object to align, I'm going to have to do something different. And that's where the Shift key comes in. So by holding down my Shift key, I can click on one object and then click on any other object and it'll select just those. I could have had nine objects here and only selected six of those nine. Whatever you want to do, you just hold your shift key down as you select the different objects. And now with those two only selected, I can go back to alignment and I can align their centers and it would just align those two objects and leave the third middle object alone. Okay, that's alignment. 